This is an interesting one that I haven't seen many people talking about. And I came across this on Tom's Hardware. A new computer platform is made for making the Caligra C100 developer terminal targets creators with distraction-free computer for experts. And if that sounds confusing, let's get into what this interesting niche Linux-based computer, or as they like to call it, terminal, really is. As this just got on my radar, the C100 developer terminal, dubbed the Linux-powered computer designed to accelerate your work. This is a weird one. I don't know who exactly this is targeting, but we're gonna get into it today. The computer for experts. As you can be part of this experiment, on batch one pre-order series with a $99 deposit. So what is this? We'll break down some of the hardware and I guess who this is supposed to be targeted towards, but it's a very interesting one. This kind of came out of the blue for me as here's seemingly a render of the whole thing with a monitor. And you can see this retro wedge chassis here, kind of reminiscent of the Commodore or Atari ST or Amiga 1000. For example, here is a Commodore 64 for those of you who haven't seen this. It's also known as a C64. It was an 8-bit home computer introduced back in January of 82 and is one of the best-selling desktop computer models of all time. There's estimates that there were around 12.5 to 17 million units sold in 1982. Back then, it was around $595, and it dominated the low-end computer market. And part of its success is really that it was sold in retail stores instead of electronics or just computer hobbyist specialty stores. So it is interesting to see a similar chassis pop up again but I'm actually a little confused at which audience this is actually intended for because the website, as we'll see, is very lacking in information, at least for me, maybe not for you, but we'll check it out. As we do have quite a few Linux-focused hardware companies like System76, Tuxedo, Star Labs that use the standard laptop and desktop industrial designs as we see today. And well, Caligra here seems like it's trying to stand out with its hardware identity. So let's look at the hardware breakdown and who the heck this is really for or if it's for anybody at this point, but seems to be quite an interesting box. It's gone under the radar completely. So the hardware breakdown here is it has an AMD Ryzen 9 9440HS processor that has eight cores and 16 threads. That's a four gigahertz base clock that can boost up to 5.2 gigahertz, 96 gigs of replaceable DDR5 memory, one terabyte, M.2 SSD, a bead blasted metal chassis. I think I just mean sandblasted, not sure exactly what else that could mean. Either way, tactical low profile mechanical switches and it's built to run Workbench. Well, what is Workbench? I had the same question as you and I think I still have the same question, but we'll explore that in a moment. The selling point here is it said it's made for making. Caligra makes tools for technical environments, situations where people depend on the result of the work, where your attention is important and the flow state is precious, where getting things done is what matters most, the computer built with different set of principles for whatever you're making, where we work for you. Focus, control, privacy, and performance. This is all very interesting as I'm not sure where this is exactly fitting in besides some sort of a marketing identity with many buzzwords. It's like a trust me tech bro startup with not much information about it. At least I'm not finding much quite yet. And seemingly their price is pretty high. I mean, $2,000 for this type of a computer. Yeah, I guess it's got 96 gigs of RAM and a pretty nice processor, but man, with not much information on it, you're competing against things like the framework, which has a clear goal to be able to upgrade your computer in the future with open hardware, guides on how to do it, and Linux focused. This just seems to be a whole nother niche of people but whatever, I guess reserved for 99 bucks. Shipping, they claim, is gonna start January 26th with the pre-order. So this doesn't seem to be intended to compete with high-end workstations, but whatever a creator-oriented development box is, again, I think they're really focused on trying to reach out to that nostalgic feel of what we got with from Commodore Amiga. But anyways, the C100 runs Workbench, a Linux-based operating system Built for technical work, it's designed to get out of your way so the team can deliver more. So now it's really tailored towards business, I guess. As it says, it's built for technical work, but doesn't explain the technical work it can actually do or is good for. And if this wasn't confusing enough, on another page, this is Workbench. And then they really don't explain what Workbench is besides a Linux-based operating system for technical workstations. I don't know what exactly this shows. It says an LOS that does less. So normally you get entertainment, advertising, shopping, attack surface, distraction, and then your work. And it just says, well, we just focus on your work. That's fine and everything, but how exactly do we focus on that work? I mean, I can grab any Linux environment and 
just focus on work. What sets Workbench apart from anything else besides the name and trying to cater towards a nostalgic feel for, again, a Commodore Amiga user? I'm just confused, I guess. Maybe someone can explain this in the comment section below. I might be missing something, but they seem to be trying to target the creator types or engineers, artists, scientists, designers, writers, I don't know, with a minimal unbloated created environment, yet they don't really explain how they do this. So back to this, I mean, I kind of already talked about this. It says it's a computer for experts and then they point out who, and we already listed some of those, but that's it. That's all you get from the website. So I have no idea what's going on here. And I've only seen one video about the whole deal. So why care about this device? Unless you're a boutique hardware lover, especially when you have high competition with like System 76's Thelio or the Framework 13 or 16, MacBook Pro even, or just the regular MacBook Air, Star Labs, Starfighter, I mean, there's a lot out here competing for the Linux segment. And this just seems like a whole nother niche. The branding here seems stronger than the actual product itself. They seem to be trying to sell a story and a nostalgic feel of, you know, an older terminal all-in-one built chassis without a clear differentiator, at least a clear audience. Again, maybe I'm wrong there. The hardware sounds pretty normal, but for a price tag of $2,000, that's quite steep. I know memory prices have gone through the roof, but, but it just feels like, for that $2,000 price tag, they're targeting people who value the aesthetics over specs, which I don't know if that's quite the Linux audience. Now, if you came in with a design like this, something nostalgic for people with, a, well, let's just say half of this price. I mean, I could definitely see people jumping on that bandwagon. I don't know that you need so much memory and a whole new computer platform. The weird fact that there's just not much information here and we're supposed to just trust that this thing is great with a very philosophy heavy website that doesn't show us much about anything, including the hardware itself, instead of saying that just appeals to experts, creators and makers, but doesn't seem to actually solve any of those problems that we have when using Linux and the actual applications that we need to be creators, makers and experts, such as having the Adobe Suite work or using high-end AutoCAD software. I don't know, this really <laughs> seems like they're trying to start a movement before proving why their terminal is great. Anyways, maybe there is a real niche here and I'm just not seeing it or I'm not part of it. I, I did find this extremely interesting and on face value, it does look very minimal and, and not distracting at all. It looks like it uses some sort of a window manager in the background. I wish I knew more about the Linux operating system itself that it's using, especially if people are gonna pay 99 bucks to reserve this thing. I guess it's not all bad. I mean, it does have a nice retro inspired metal design for its chassis. It does look kind of cool. Kind of looks like they were able to modernize a fan favorite from the 80s. It does have 96 gigabytes of RAM. Overall, it does look like a small form factor, although I don't know the dimensioning exactly. I just have this render here to go off of. The keyboard is built in and mechanical. It is a niche product, and I'm sure that people might want it for the nostalgia. Now, some of the cons though, it's $2,000. That's expensive for the performance level, I believe. Workbench OS, I have no idea what that is or if it's any good. And it doesn't seem to focus on any kind of modular or repair first segment, which other retailers like Framework definitely excel at and, and a lot of people nowadays want that in their systems because more and more companies are getting away from that. I also tried to find more information on Caligra and the only thing I could find is that they secured a $1 million pre-seed funding and that it's a London-based computer company. They call themselves a new computer company that's developing a Linux-based operating system called Workbench and a C100 developer terminal hardware that's designed specifically to run it. The C100 is created in collaboration with Pentagram industrial design partner, John Marshall. John and his team worked closely with Caligra to translate the elements needed for a developer-focused machine into clear functional hardware design. The result is a terminal that reflects Caligra's commitment to creating tools for people who make and build rather than simply consume. So I get the vision. Clearly, they're fed up with some of the mainstream operating systems and the bloat that they carry, including being ad heavy, telemetry heavy, bloated and having AI all over the place. So it does make sense to see a developer focused minimalist computer that offers Linux. And if they can really pull off making hardware specifically designed for Linux and adding extra tools that are high focus on workloads, I can maybe see a consumer segment for this. Anyways, it's an interesting one. I wanna know if anyone's heard of this as I just stumbled across it. Would someone be interested in this thing? Comment in the comment section below. We'll see how this all pans out and plays out. Don't forget to subscribe below. Smash that like button on the way back up for more videos like this. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.